Hi guys! In this video you'll see how the actors of the movie Braveheart 1995 have changed. You'll know their real names and age. I will show you how they look then and what's with them now in 2023. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's go! Young William is John's only brother. He keeps a close eye on the man and his family and tries to emulate their behavior and be fearless. He's independent, gets along well with peers and loves to discover something new. The role is performed by James Robinson. Robert the Bruce is one of the pretenders to the throne of Scotland. He is somewhat insecure about his powers and decisions, which allows his father to influence him. But at the same time he can defend his position and is very attentive to details. John Wallace is the firstborn of Malcolm, who, as he reached a certain maturity, began to join the local community and learn from his father's skills, but wasn't yet good enough in military affairs, able to support people dear to him. Played by Sandy Nelson. Campbell, James Cosmo, maintained friendly relations with Malcolm until the death of Wallace. He is not inclined to obey, is distinguished by determination and over the years hasn't lost his fighting skill. Differs in endurance, which many men will envy. McClaneo is a family man who doesn't neglect physical labor, but in terms of protecting the village, he's not very determined and prefers to stay away. He can be strict at times, but is also not devoid of understanding. He was played by Sean McGinley. Young Hamish, Andrew Weir, is related by blood to Campbell. He has a somewhat pessimistic outlook on many situations, but is not known to be callous and never gloats over others when they have difficulties. He tries to show the same stamina as his father. Gerda Stevenson is raising their only daughter Maron with her husband. She participates in the social life of the village and maintains good relations with many, able to show perseverance and inflexibility, but in a rather mild form. Priest number one conducted the burial of William's relatives, adheres to established rules, treats all alike and is always diligent in fulfilling his obligations. He is noted for his education, played by Ralph Reich, who passed away in 2022 of natural causes. Young Marn lives in the same village as the Wallace family. Despite the fact that she is still just a child, but in her soul there is more gentleness and understanding of other people's problems than in any other adult. The role is performed by Myrie Calvey. Prince Edward, Peter Hanley, is the next year to the throne of England, but he is absolutely not interested in this and doesn't have sufficient ambition and a serious outlook on things. Has a more feminine nature and doesn't care too much about his people. Argel Wallace, Brian Cox, is the only surviving relative of William who not only gave shelter to his nephew, but also had a significant influence on the formation of his personality. He is distinguished by balance, moderate severity and is a good teacher. Longshanks, King Edward I, is unprincipled and doesn't care about the fate of ordinary people. The main thing is to achieve absolute power not only in England, but also in Scotland. Played by Patrick McGuhan who passed away in 2009 after a long illness. Philip served for Edward, for whom he had romantic feelings. He has a rather impudent nature, doesn't know how to stop in time and verbal statements and sometimes behaves permissiveness. Philip is a good motivator. The role is performed by Stephen Billington. Malcolm Wallace is related to Argyle. In his home village of Lanark, he enjoys a certain amount of respect and seeks, along with other knights, to protect the locals. He is not impulsive, played by Sean Lawler, who died in 2009 after a short illness. 
Craig belongs to the Scottish elite. He may complain about certain English laws, but his indignation will not go beyond a handful of novels. He is uninitiated, rarely shows activity, and is not able to lead an army. The role is performed by John Kavanagh. Morning, Alan Armstrong, along with Craig, has almost the same powers and voting power in the council. It's typical for him to follow the path of least resistance and simply humbly bend under all the conditions and orders of England, so as not to lose his lands. William Wallace is the true patriot of his country, as is Hamish. He is characterized by a manifestation of purposefulness and tries to complete any work begun. He has a quick reaction time and is a good speaker for knights. The role is performed by Mel Gibson. Maron is William's lover. She's good-natured, at times able to show courage and some disobedience in relation to parental prohibitions. Although she's not educated, she's neither stupid nor lacking in humanity. The role is performed by Catherine McCormack. Hamish has maintained a good friendship with William throughout his life. Even though he has a rather imposing and somewhat wild appearance, he was still afraid of his father. Able to show respect and be helpful to friends. The role is played by Brandon Gleason. Morrison is the exact opposite of the Scottish nobility, and he is not ready to put up with how people dear to him are intimidated and humiliated. He's fearless and can be merciless and cruel to the enemy. At times, he is vindictive. Lord Bottoms, Rupert Van Start, owns land in the vicinity of Falkirk. He fulfills any order of the king, especially if it's beneficial to him, and with loss he accepted the right of the first knight. It has a rather impudent nature and doesn't accept disobedience. Smythe doesn't make any important decisions, but humbly follows the instructions of the magistrate. He has a double nature, can easily pretend, and often looks at local women with an unkind, vulgar look. He lives an immoral lifestyle, played by Michael Byrne. Magistrate led the native settlement of Marron at the hands of which she died. He was accustomed to exalt himself above the peasants and often exceeded his powers in relation to them. Played by Malcolm Tierney, who died of pulmonary fibrosis in 2014. Nicolet has a friendly relationship with Isabel and was her confidence. She's not used to complaining about life, knows how to be diligent and is attentive to what she's told. Nicolet has a good knowledge of sex. The role is performed by Jean Marin. The leper is Robert's only close relative. He has a distorted idea of what is good and bad and judges all people according to himself. He is characterized by authority and hostility, played by Ian Bannon, who died as a result of a car accident in 1999. Veteran Peter Mullen is not distinguished by purposefulness and prefers to live his usual life and endure instead of gaining freedom. He can be persuasive at times and has some influence on the Scottish warriors on whom he has tried to impose his position. Charlton, along with the English army, negotiated with William but was ordered to attack immediately if anything went wrong. He is able to follow instructions given to him clearly, is not inclined to compromise and is self-confident. Played by Gerard McSorley. Royal Magistrate is one of the trusted men of the ruler of England. He is principled and can be extremely suspicious and stubborn in some moments. He doesn't tend to trust people completely, but is himself in good standing with the king. Played by David Gant. Governor of York. Richard Leaf was related by blood to Edward I. He has good leadership qualities and can become an example for his people, as he is devoid of cover guys and knows how to accept difficulties with dignity. Has a strong dislike for sodomites. 
Princess Isabel was the daughter-in-law of King Edward I and had sincere romantic feelings for William. She has an inner core, knows how to compromise and is able to show mercy. At certain points, she can become quite tough. She was played by Sophie Marceau. Stefan was part of William's squad, with whom he could create a trusting relationship. He is shrewd, quick to react and has well-developed intuition, capable of showing vindictiveness and has a strong dislike for the English people. Played by David O'Hara. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share it on social networks, like it and of course subscribe to the channel.